flower power. It was Halloween night on the island of Sodor. The moon shone brightly, and the stars twinkled in the night sky. The children's Halloween party was over, but while the children slept, all the engines were kept very busy. Thomas was alone at Tidmouth Sheds when Sir Topham Hatt arrived. He was still in his Halloween costume. You ought to collect flour from the mill and take it to the bakery, he boomed. You must work with diesel. The island needs its morning toast, and Lady Hatt and I need our English muffins, he added sternly. So I'll have no mishaps tonight. Thomas didn't want to work with diesel but he wanted to be really useful. When Thomas arrived at Brendam, he couldn't see Diesel at all. Diesel was up to his old tricks. He rolled up behind Thomas and went, Boom! <laughs> Trust the silly old steamy to be scared on Halloween, Diesel sneered. I'm not a scared engine, said Thomas firmly. We'll see, oiled Diesel. Thomas and Diesel headed for the flower mill. Diesel teased Thomas with every click and every clack. When they arrived at the woods, Diesel cried, It's the haunted forest! And he called out, Whoa! Thomas, in a spooky voice. Stop it, said Thomas crossly. But the breeze blew, and the branches creaked. Diesel's teasing made it seem spooky indeed. Then they came to the abandoned mine. The buildings were deserted. But they could hear a banging noise. What was that? cried Thomas. Sounds like the ghost engine looking for a steamy to scare. Well, well, I'm not scared, said Thomas. But he wished he felt as brave as he sounded. Thomas and Diesel had to stop at a red signal. It was next to a twisty old tree. The wind whistled and Thomas heard a strange cry. Suddenly, Thomas felt something touch his tender. Look out, cried Diesel. The ghost engine is after your funnel. Cinders and ashes, gasped Thomas. And he let out a frightened peep. Scared engine, scared engine, Diesel teased. Thomas was very cross with Diesel. He wanted to pay him back for all his teasing. Thomas and Diesel arrived at the flour mill. Thomas rolled up to collect the flour. Then Thomas had an idea. We'll see who's a scared engine, he puffed. Thomas biffed the freight cars out of the way and rolled up under the chute himself. When Thomas puffed out the other side, he was covered from dome to buffer in pure white flour. Whoa, he said spookily. It's a ghost engine, cried Diesel. It's come to get me. Stop, cried Thomas. It's just me. But Diesel was nowhere to be seen. After Diesel had gone, the mill seemed very quiet. But there was still work to do. The island needs its bread, thought Thomas, and Sir Topham Hatt needs his English muffins. Thomas shunted all the freight cars into one long line, and he set off for the bakery, all alone. As Thomas arrived at the twisty tree, 
He wished he could go faster, but it was a very long train, and he had to go slowly. Because he was going so slowly, Thomas could see that the tree wasn't spooky at all. It was just a tree, he gasped, and the strange cry was just an owl. Thomas was relieved. Thomas chugged towards the abandoned mine. He could still hear the spooky banging. He looked to his left and then to his right, and he saw what was making the noise. It's just an old door, he gasped. The wind is making it crash. Finally, Thomas reached the old woods. The breeze still blew, and the branches creaked. Thomas took a big, brave puff. But without Diesel's teasing, Thomas could see the haunted forest was actually Henry's favorite forest. It's not scary at all, said Thomas. Thomas arrived at the bakery. He was tired but happy. Oh, it's the ghost engine, sir! Diesel told Sir Topham Hatt, and it's come to get me. It's not a ghost engine, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. That's Thomas. He's a really useful engine. Thomas, you have done a splendid job, Sir Topham Hatt said. You deserve an extra special washdown. Thank you, sir," puffed Thomas proudly. And while Sir Topham Hatt waited for the first batch of English muffins, Thomas looked forward to telling his friends his Diesel Halloween story. <laughs> <laughs>